Hey fellas, it's been a little while since I've uploaded on this channel. I had gotten involved with a lot of things that drew my attention away from making videos. But anyways, my last video hasn't really been sitting well with me lately. Some of the placements were just a bit off, and I had to rush the video because I was about to get a pile of assessments, so... Yeah, so I'm just gonna go back and fix a few things. First off, Shimmer was highly underrated, like criminally bad, like why did I do that? Embrittlement was overrated as well, like, I thought it was much better than it actually was, but it's, it's just not. It's just shit. It did get changed that it's moved down to Ice Shards now, but still, like, why? Why did I do that? <laughs> so, Ice Shards is, well, Ice Shards and Embrittlement is going down to C tier, while Shimmer is going up to B. Alright, the next thing I was a bit biased towards was Submergent Support. Yeah, I know, it's pretty much B tier. Like, being waterbound and its pulse being pretty inconsistent, even with the attack speed upgrade, it's just... I, I, I just like the upgrade, okay? Just calm down. I, I know it's B. I'm putting it there. I don't care. Reactor, I'm not moving whatsoever, though. Like, it is solid A tier. I'm not, I'm not moving that. You, you can argue with me all day about it. I'll die on that hill. It's A. And also, I got another comment about... Corvus, like, you can use spells with the decamo, but, like, to be honest, that is highly skill-based and tedious compared to just, like, signal flare mortar, place on corner, boom, decamo done, instead of cast five spells and maybe you'll get everything. Not I missed out on the last update, but one of the things was that Symphonic Resonance yeah, that price was- that price change was just huge. Like, what? I- it was expected, but... Oh, fuck. I can't believe you've done this. For decamo purposes solely? I have to chuck it all the way down to T, but I know it's not made for that. Like, decamo is just an added bonus compared to its stalling, but... Sorry, it's D. And now, one of the most controversial picks, and I'm actually quite surprised it was controversial was my ranking of Counter Espionage. And to be honest, the Counter Espionage fan club got me. It's not bad. It's absolutely shit. Yeah, that's right, you can- <laughs> Yeah, that's right, build a bridge and get over it, I don't care. It's shit before quite a few reasons. And look, to be honest, I'll, I'll just go through all of them. First off, the prize, like, an O2O is the cheapest, cheapest thing you can get if you solely want decamo. And like, I was told, yeah, you can cross path it. Okay, let's add the cost of that and compare it to everything else. It's pretty comparable in price to like a submergent support, ice shards, stuff like that. And yeah, it's decent. Until round 59, obviously, when the camo leads come in, but. Now, flash bombs actually surprised me. It actually went quite far when I was just messing around in challenge editor. But like, in a typical game, when you don't have a sun temple popping all the balloons for you, PS problems will clearly make a rise, especially evident in 78, but in most other rounds as well. And also that it costs pretty much the same as a reactor. So why? Why would you get this? And I know it's inevitable, but like Shinobi buff it, like, no, don't Shinobi buff it. Just go all ninjas and don't take camo. Use the good cross path. What are you doing to yourself? Why? But I guess people play things the way they like it. I, I, I'm not going against what anyone prefers playing. It's just personally, I wouldn't put it above that. It, it, I wouldn't personally put it above D tier. That's what I'm trying to say, because it's just inefficient. It works. It certainly works. It's just not good when compared to everything else. So I'm sorry, it's D tier. I'm not doing anything about it and you can't do anything about it. Okay, I'm a bit abrasive there, but like, there was one point I saw that I cannot deny, and that's Golden Balloons. Yeah, I... For the poor souls that grind that achievement, especially in Magic Monkeys only, I have respect, but I just can't do it. Like, I did a couple of games every now and again, and then I realised how shit this grind is, and just abandon it. And yes, an 023 flash bomb is a really good option for popping golden balloons in the early game. However, 
I just personally prefer an 012 ice and just freeze it in place instead. It's so much easier and also more reliable since it just stays there until it dies rather than relying on the stun. But yeah, I'm a lot more free now thanks to doing all my exams. So I'll, more videos coming soon, but otherwise I'll see you all in the next one. Oh yeah, I forgot about S tier. You know what? Fuck it. All right. For real, more videos are coming soon. This was just more a filler just to get me back into it. But, but anyways, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.